hi guys welcome back to my channel today i want to show you how to cut a well-fitted pencil trouser the shokoto part of it you know we have the belt trouser and we have the other one that makes use of rope and um, elastic so um, i want to teach you how to cut the rope and elastic type of it and this one it usually have a prick flap too that prick flap you don't need zip for it if you want to bring out or maybe you want to in it just to put your hand there and bring out and do whatever you want to do so now let's get started the normal things we'll be making use of our tape rule chalk ruler and then um, measurements so for this particular trouser i want to cut i'm making use of um measurements with waist 38 waist 38 let me write it here leg round the leg round uh, uh, the new that's new 18 and the leg round is 14. So this is the measurement I'm making use of waist 38, 5, 28, length 39, new 18, and leg round 14. So the first thing to note if you want to cut a trouser, you get your length measurement, whatever your length is, just add 4 to it. If your length is for 30, you add plus 4 inches. That will make it 34. So now that we are making use of length 39, if I had 4 inches to it, that will give me what? 43. So now, you come to the upper part of your trouser. We make a straight line, then we take our length. So the total length you are taking now is 39 plus 4, which is 43. Thirty-nine, one, two, three, four, making forty-three. Then we'll make this thirty-nine. So you make a straight line. So the next thing we have to do now is to get our new part. It's very easy to get your new part with this method you don't need to stress yourself all you just need to do is to divide whatever the length you have just divide it by two whichever length you have just divide it by two that will give you your new so i'll divide it by two for the three divided by two that will give us what 21 and a half 21 and a half, in case you don't know how to divide, just put your table like this, 43, divided into 2. So we have 21 and a half. So you come from the top here, you measure 21 and a half, you come back here, 21 and a half. Then you make a straight line. So... Our nail will be on this part. The leg round, the ankle of the trouser will be on this part while this is our waist. So now, this is where the method is now. If you want to make your trouser to be pencil, this is where the, the real secret is. You come to the new part. You take in one inch. Then you take whatever your nail is. So the nail is 18. 18 divided by 2. That will give me what? 9. Then you take your 9 inches. So the same thing we do here. We come to the ankle part. 
you take in one inch. So after taking in one inch, then you put your out pencil you want it to be. Normally, some people make use of um, a pencil amount of 13 inches. Some make use of, if you want a mature pencil, you make use of um, 14 inches. But if you want a pencil, a stream pencil, you make use of 13 inches. So for this particular one now, we are making use of 14 inches. So if you divide 14 inches into two, that will give us 7 inches. So we mark our seven inches here so the next thing we are going to do now is to connect from one here to this side and this 14 to this nine this will appear as a straight line why this will appear as a slant line it will be straight it will appear slant So let's come to the upper part of the trouser. Our waist, whatever your waist is, we divide it by four. So now we are working with waist 38. So if I divide my waist 38 by four, you can see how I'm making my I'm making use of my tape root to divide. I don't need to go and carry calculator before I know what to do. So 13 divided by 4 will give me 9 and a half inches. So that 9 and a half inches, you now had 2 inches to it. 1, 2. So that means we are having a total of 11 and a half inches. Then you come to your waist part. You mark it. 11 and a half inches. So the next thing now is to measure your crotch part. So the crotch part for this shokoto type, for this type of a trouser, mostly if you are working with waist, let's say waist 40, waist 39, waist 38, waist 35, waist 36, waist 34, your crotch length can be 14 inches. You can make use of 14 inches. But if, on the other hand, you are working with waist that is lower than maybe let's say 33, 32, 30, then you can reduce your crotch length to 13. So if you are working with a lower waist, that's how it goes. Uh, let's say 20 something, 28, 29, then you reduce your crotch length again. So that is how it goes. So for this particular trouser now, since my waist is 38, that means I'm making use of 14 inches. Yeah, mark it 14 inches, 14 inches, then I make a straight line. Then I make a straight line. So the waist we make use of here, which is 11 and a half, we place the same 11 and a half on the crotch part. So one thing you are going to note now, you see, if I connect this line from here to the waist, it will be a straight line. But the line we are meant to use is not supposed to be a straight line. So what are we going to do? Whatever you have here, just add two and a half inches. So meaning you first add half inches, half inch, sorry, then plus two inches. Let me come again. Whatever you have here, you add plus half inch, plus two inches. Plus half inch, plus two inches. So you connect from this half. So this other one, so you get your slant line. It will be a straight line. You can see now that the line is slant. 
Then you make your curve. So after making your curve, you come back, you connect from here to here. Then you finish this particular part to be a slant line. So our trouser is coming up gradually. So the next thing to do now is our prick opening. How do we do that? Instead of we don't want to waste our time saying we want to put elastic. We don't want to waste our time saying we want to put elastic. So what do we do? For the opening, from where your waist is, just add an extra two inches to it. Meaning plus, well, let's make it, from, the, from where your waist is, you add extra two and a half inches, 2.5 inches. So we have 2.5 here. So you come down with 10 inches. 2.5, 2.5. Then you make a straight line. You connect it. Then you slant it. So this is how you get your prick part. You can see this is the extra layer that we, we are going to use. So this method is usually very good. You don't need to waste your time saying you want to put zip. Now, the next thing now is the pocket. How do we get our pocket? Pocket is very simple. So from this waist, from this waist, you take down four inches. Four inches. Then our normal pocket is seven inches. But if we are sewing for kids, you can make other two up here, this other four inches up here, if you divide it by two, so part of it will cover the pockets for our waist. So I will make another video where I will show you how to join it. But now let's stay focused. So now we are done with drafting out our trouser pattern. So the next thing to do now is to cut the front parts of our trouser. So let me start. So you notch, you notch for you to know where the pocket is. So when you get to this stage, you notch, then you continue. So we are done with the first part of our trouser. You can see we have the, the front here. We have the front. This is the front. So I will mark it. My back. My back. So we have the front part of our trouser. So now we are going to cut the back side of the trouser. We're going to cut the back side of our trouser. So let's use this to hold it. So you will take, you can see that we have two now. One, two. So we are working with this other one we chalk on. 
this is the one we are working with for our back side so what you do now you can see the way i just move the fabric forward so that it won't it will not scatter you need to follow this process to not scatter then you take your front you put it this way Now, the next thing to do now is to shape out the front. You just shape it with chalk. You shape the sides too. This method is usually very easy. Now, after shaping it like this, you move your trouser you move it in such a way that the distance between this particular side and the front will be one and a half inches while at this side the distance between this place and this uh, lap side will be two and a half inches so if it's not enough you use your hand to adjust it while checking one and a half two and a half inches you can see that it's perfect like that so the next thing i'll do now is to come to the upper part of the trouser which is this side so for the upper part of our trouser you come up you come to this side you raise it by two inches so from that two inches you make a slant line to the head here you make a slant line to the head here So you make a slant line to this edge here so after doing that you will now measure your waist whatever your waist is you transfer it to this upper part then add two inches to it whatever your waist is you transfer it to the upper part and add two inches like this 11 and a half you come here this is the 11 and a half then you had two inches, one, two. So the next thing to do now is to connect. Is to connect from these two inches to this side. Now we are done. So the next thing now is to cut out the back part of our trouser. So now we are done cutting out the back side of our trouser. This is the back side. 
So we are having two. Let's mark it. So the next thing now is to cut out our pocket. The next thing is to cut out the pocket. So how do we measure pockets? All you just need to do is normally pockets If you want to cut pockets, you make use of 14 inches by 14 inches. 14 inches by 14 inches. So you put it this way. You get out our 14 inches. So our 14 inches is here. 14 inches is here. You measure your 14 inches here, here, make a straight line, and let's cut it out. So you divide it into two like this. Then you trim this off. I don't think you need any calculation for that. You just make a bench, then you divide this. So we are done with our pockets. We have two pockets now. We have two pockets. So the next thing I'll do now is I will upload another video. I will show you another video how we are going to join these pockets and how we are going to join the wall of the trouser. So if you have not uh, subscribed, I will advise you to do so. So in my next video, I will show you how to join this uh, trouser. So thank you and God bless.